Welcome to this week's video check-in. This is our first video check-in. We'll be posting these at the, roughly at the beginning of each week, um, which starts at uh, midnight uh, UTC, Wednesdays, uh, for the next six weeks. And this is really just meant to sort of look a little bit back on the past week and look a little bit forward on the, on the coming week. Looking back on this past week, one of the highlights for us was the poems um, that everybody did. These were really meant to just um, give you a chance to test out the peer assessment system in a sort of light way. Um, a lot of you really took to this assignment, which is really great. Um, the rest of the assignments will be much more focused on the, uh, on the particular topics in the course. But still, the poems managed to hit this anyway. Here's one that, that caught our eye that was posted in the forums. Binary digits, bits and bytes, so many chips and wires. And it's all for naught if we aren't taught by somebody who inspires. And I'd like to think that somebody who inspires is me, but I know that in this course, it's more likely and should be your peers that are in this course, because they're really the ones who you're going to be learning from. Uh, and that's why I want to emphasize the use of groups um, in, the, in the forums. A lot of you have started these groups already, groups that have dozens of people in them. Um, there's about 80 groups already. We encourage you to join one of these groups or join more than one of these groups. These are a great place to be able to share your assignments, share your thoughts in a much more uh, small uh, uh, feeling group that allows you to get better feedback, gets you to allow, allows you to know other people within the course. Uh, you can share your assignments there, and if they're really great, you can share them back out to the main forums from there. These forums may be based on language. A lot of you are from around the world, and English may not be your first language. Please feel free to create uh, these groups that are for people that are speaking your language. Speak to them in your language. Be able to post and share things in your language. If things are really good, we ask you to share them back out to the main forums in English so that everybody can participate in them. But please feel free to use these groups um, as you see fit for those purposes or sharing things based on your locale, your, your profession, et cetera. Um, we do want to say that, the, the, by and large, the participation in the forums has been really wonderful. We really appreciate it. And we do ask people to kind of respect the etiquette of the forums and be polite with other, other folks in there. And in particular, understand that there's a great diversity of people that are in this course from around the world, uh, from different kinds of professions. Different people are going to be coming with different expertise. And so while you may be an expert in some area, you can learn something from somebody else in another area and vice versa. And so just to encourage that kind of participation in the forums and allows people to develop new expertise and share their existing expertise. Uh, to that uh, end, we've started a glossary. Um, people are coming in with lots of different terms from different fields, uh, and you may not be familiar with that, so we've started a glossary in the wiki. Uh, you can both post a new word there if you don't know what a word means, and hopefully someone else can fill it in. Or if you want to share something that you do know, you can certainly contribute to the, to the wiki glossary there as well. Uh, coming up, we have some live events throughout the course that we'll be alerting you to. Um, the first of those is next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. It's an Ask Me Anything on Reddit. For those of you that don't know, Reddit is a big internet forum, and we'll be taking live questions via text uh, for about an hour and a half that day. Uh, questions will get voted to the top, and you can really ask me anything, as the saying goes there. Um, so please feel free to join that. Um, you can post questions um, and, and just read if you'd like as well. You will need a Reddit account to post and vote, but if you want to just read, you're welcome to do that. And it will be archived. Those uh, Ask Me Anythings uh, remain there um, in text afterwards. Uh, alerting you what's coming up this week, um, there's going to be videos, interviews mostly this week. Uh, there will be a couple assignments. Uh, the, the big assignment this week is a, a sort of looking at the present and the past in, in educational technology. There will be another peer assessed assignment. Um, we do ask for people to give constructive feedback in those assignments. Again, it doesn't have to be positive, it just has to be constructive. And when you're doing these assignments, be thinking about how you use this knowledge to feed forward um, to the final project that's going to be coming up at the end of the course, which is this Kickstarter style pitch for an educational technology. Thinking again forward to that project and groups, I want to come back to that. Um, you should be working in groups to, to both kind of share feedback, but if you want to form smaller groups around particular ideas that you have, they're going to be working towards that final project. That's also a great use of groups, and we encourage that as well. Uh, and finally, uh, at the end of the week, um, there's a checklist, uh, which is the last assignment. The checklist just asks you to do things like, did you do the assignment? Um, there's some activity breaks that we have along the way that we really encourage you to do. And there's a lot of video content, but during those videos, we ask you to do particular activities. This week, it's a, a logo-based assignment. Um, we ask you then just to do that, and then check off that you did that, check off that you did the readings at the end of each week. It's also a way to just know that you got everything in there. You may have missed something along the way, and those checklists help you, help you verify that. Um, so with that, I'll say we look forward to, to seeing you online this week. Um, you'll be seeing some of me, and you'll be seeing more of me in the forums, as well as a lot of the staff that's uh, participating in this course. Um, most of those people have identified themselves in the forums and are really knowledgeable and helpful, um, as are a lot of you. So we'll see you online.